Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you from the northeast of Scotland. Now, my original plan was to review the second lot of Colonna beans that I received, which was the Geisha. However, I got sidetracked by a different company. So, this is the name of the company. It's uh, Standout Coffee. The beans come in this uh, nice presentation style box. And they're a company based out in Stockholm, Sweden. Now, um, during my research of trying to look at Nordic roasters, I came across obviously La Cabra, Coffee Collective, and Cafe Box. Um, and this one, um, I, was, I just stumbled upon them really and uh, checked their homepage and checked out their Facebook. Um, and their core business seems to be a subscription for competition style coffee. So high quality coffee that you would expect to see at a, at a championship, a coffee championship. Um, so quite bold claims. Um, but I decided to order um, their coffee and um, this is the tasting notes for this coffee. And I'll try and get the shot in. It might be a little bit difficult because of the light. But here we go. So um, this particular coffee is a Colombian natural Sudan room. Apologies if I get the pronunciation wrong. So the notes say, as you might have noticed, we are on quite a Cafe Granja La Esperanza high at the moment, and we're not planning on slowing down. Don Rigoberto and of course Camilo from Cafe Granja La Esperanza in Colombia have, give, have uh, again given us the opportunity to roast and share with you the wonderful natural processed Sudan room variety from their farm, Las Margaritas, in, Co in Coca Valley in Colombia. Um, so some tasting notes, uh, plums, cocoa, brown sugar, mint, citrus, juicy acidity, and a silky body. So quite a lot there. Um, and um, here are the beans as well. They come in these little wee 50 gram packs. So you get 100 grams and it's two 50 gram packs. Um, I think looking at their website, um, it looks like their coffee is more for filter. However, I thought I would just try it as an espresso and see what I get. So um, I'm looking forward to this. This should be very interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh the beans out. And when I see you next, uh, we will be at the niche. Okay, guys. So that is up top. us up top now, looking down at the beans on the niche. I would suggest that these beans are probably medium to light. Um, I've got the dial in on the niche at 10 so I'm going to be grinding quite fine so it'll be interesting to see what we get with that I will tell you that the whole beans smell absolutely amazing there's this funkiness almost strawberries as well it just smells really intense so I'm looking really looking forward to this anyway on to the grind <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. So that's us now back at the Puristica, ready to do a shot. The pack has been prepped, so it's 18 grams in. Boiler is sitting at 94 degrees Celsius on the Puristica. Um, the group head is very hot. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to pull at 10 on the dial of the niche. Um, so let's give this a shot, shall we? Okay, so there was some channeling there. Unfortunately, I did try my best to pack it, uh, to prep the puck properly, but obviously still not 100% with this. Um, however, the time-wise, I think that was about 33 seconds, um, which is what I'm looking for. I mean, it is slightly longer than the 25 to 30 seconds that I usually aim for, but um, overall, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to pull a slightly longer shot with this one, I think. Um, 
and the weight wise we're looking at well 36.4 grams so pretty much what I'm looking what I'm looking for so let's have a look at the shot shall we so there's a wee bit of crema there a wee bit of crema right let's go on to the tasting notes and shall we apologies for my phone Mm. The nose is lovely on this one. I'm getting chocolate. I'm getting fruits, a bit of zinginess, hint of lemon perhaps. Right, so on to the taste. Wow. That's just a very silky smooth mouthfeel that. Just slides down your throat quite oily. Medium bodied. But it is intense. And so I'm getting some acidity. Lovely clean acidity. Uh, quite bright, lively. I've got chocolate coming through as well and some vanilla sweetness almost which is um, playing along with the acidity mm. oh there's the mint almost like a cooling effect on the tongue that's quite interesting anyway let's go for another sip then mm. yeah this is really good. There's more acidity. There's more citrus. There's citrus coming out. I'm getting some oranges coming out. Getting the hit of, of chocolate as well. More sweetness coming through, really playing along again very, very nicely with that acidity. Mm. This is it's just really good. Uh, it's excellent, actually. Um, very very impressed with this one um, okay I mean it's not it's not cheap I mean you're looking at well if you go for the subscription range it's 25 euros and you get 100 grams a month and I believe I used a 10% code as well on this site if you I think if you subscribe to a newsletter or something like that you get 10% off so 22 euro 50 for 100 grams of really great coffee in my opinion I think that's a decent price that's a good price um it's it's just it's just really good I, I don't really know what else to say about this one um it's for score wise i'll be looking at probably a nine and a half i think for this one as well i think I, I just i just really think it's good and the again the playfulness between the acidity and the sweetness is awesome more lots of chocolate notes coming out as well there's no bitterness it's just very very clean very very silky smooth and i've had this um, as an americano as well and it's impressed me as well so much um, as an americano as well um it's not going to last long <laughs> i've maybe got one double shot left and maybe a short shot of something uh, another short shot but that's about it um so yeah um quite a find this one as i said i didn't know much about the company at all but i'm glad i've signed up to this uh, subscription series I see that on their website they've also started up a specialty a specialty coffee as well subscription so that's also interesting so um standout coffee um is it a coffee that stands out or is it a company that stands out um I think so I genuinely do I think if they can if they can continue to produce or source out this sort of coffee um as a treat I think this is and this is just great. Now I'm starting to get on my tongue. There's more, there's more dryness to the tongue. No sourness, just dryness. And I'm still getting those chocolate notes coming through. Still getting a little bit of acidity as well. So the finish is quite long on this one. It really hangs around. Again, still getting that minty coolness on the tongue. Which is really, really interesting. Right, so yeah, standout coffee from Stockholm, Sweden. 
Um, what else can I, what else can I say? I'm just really really impressed with with what they have, and um, it'll be very very interesting to see what happens uh, what they come with next month. Um, I'm I'm reviewing quite a lot of coffees as you can see. So I, my plan for the channel is to maybe do uh, a top three of the month, top three espressos of the month, um, towards the end of the month. Um, but we'll see. Um, I would like to add something like that because I, I think it would be interesting to see. Um, so yeah, standard coffee, amazing, really good. Uh, can't recommend them enough. So um, guys, if you enjoy my content, then please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. But um, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Um, have, just have a fantastic Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will hopefully uh, come up with the Kelowna Coffee the Geisha that I'm wanting to review. That should be um, available soon, hopefully. Uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.